my name's Silver, welcome back to the channel. Today guys, I got a pretty awesome video for you. So today guys, we're going to be talking about the new Shadow Paladin trial deck. Well, one card that hasn't been released at this point, I think every card in the deck has been released and, um, yeah. So, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite cards releasing in this trial deck, the Dark Dictator. So he's a pretty old card in Origin, as you can see, he has an or original form and a V-series form. So we're going to discuss his original form and see if we can draw any roots or inspiration from this card to the new one. So, obviously back in the old days they didn't have gift marks, so um, let's go over his skills, talk about him a bit, and yeah. So, its first continuous skill, this unit cannot be boosted, continuous during your turn, this unit gets 2k for each shadow paladin rear guard and auto soul blast three when this card is placed on van you may pay the cost if you do choose up to two of your shadow paladin rear guards in the front row and give them 5k so this card was meant to be a similar clone to alfred from the original series hence he can't be boosted why he gets 2k for each rear guard but instead of having a superior call ability he had a give t a total of 10k power to the front row skill and he was a fairly decent card as an overall unit um in my opinion he wasn't terrible nor was he great but i think he this card will translate really well over into the v series so let's talk about that so i think he's gonna keep his none of these skills i think he's gonna be very similar to um the last uh alfred early or the new alfred card um so i view that this one right here is going to have some sort of superior call and give power skill very similar to alfred early or king of knights alfred from the v series he's obviously gonna have the force gift mark um honestly i think that's really it i don't think any of these skills are gonna translate i don't think um, Alfred Early had anything else besides Superior Call, Blaster Blade, and Draw a card. Um, he might very well have a Retire skill in a call, or Retire and Draw, a Retire and Gain Power, or Retire and Draw. Uh, I say that is, I view, I think Shadow Paladin, in my opinion, is gonna be this Retire theme clan, you know, Retire one of my stuff, Retire one of yours, or Retire your stuff, I gain skill off of it, because... And the opponent gets to choose all the time. The reason for that being is a lot of the cards currently released that retire stuff allow your opponent to choose a unit that's the unit they retire. And that's an overall decent solid skill. But um, I wanted to compare a few other things. I really like this art for the Dark Dictator. And this one he has a black robe. And it's just very dark overall in theme. Whereas this one shows a lot of the United Sanctuary in the background. He has a more vibrant blue glowing to his sword in his suit. His eyes are red and he has a black cape. Um, like I said, between the two arts, I own this promo physically. I think I still even have it in the promo plastic. So I actually, again, really do like this card. It's just not very useful in current game at all or even back in the day you ran there was just it wasn't a good card it was a nice card being it was promo but i really do have a lot of high hopes for this card and that's probably it what i'm gonna say about this i don't want to drag this video too long i just wanted to give a few ideas um i'm hoping that this card will be released later today tomorrow we also got alice um pretty good card i think i'm gonna cover her uh in a couple days well this is going up today so Probably Monday's video will cover the cards that have been released over the past few days. So keep an eye out for that video. And I think that's about it, guys. Until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.